Welcome back, my sweets. Uh, pardon the noise in the background. It's hot as hell in here, so that's my AC. Um, so we're going to the embarrassing idol. Howling at that drippy old hunk of moon. Oh boy. Oh man, that song is even worse than I remembered. I can't believe I voted for you. Keep it down, Max. We don't want to mess up time any more than we already have. You really nailed that high note. Whoa. And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner. No. Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Woohoo! Bin Bottom Records. It's like a dream come true. I'm so happy Specs, for you, Sam. I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? I'd better go after him. Oops. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. <laughs> Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us. That's our cue, little buddy. Sick him. Sam and Max, listen to our words. Hey, look, Sam. Doppelgangers. Well, then. Who are you clowns? We're you guys, from your distant future. Heed our dire warnings. I always thought I'd be taller. What are you guys doing here? We came with a warning from the future. Beware Santa Claus. And Mr. Spatula. And Hugh Bliss. Actually, a lot of people have tried to kill us. This could take a while. Just Nonsense! Yeah, all those guys are our friends. If you say so. Got any questions about your immediate future? Hmm, nope, can't think of any. What number am I thinking of right now? 28. That's all? There's nothing you're curious about? We'd rather see it for ourselves. Keeps the mystery in our relationship. <laughs> I guess. We just came to say hello. Somebody's got trouble letting go of the past. I'll be glad when I grow out of that attitude problem. All right, well, hello. Okay, that's done. Congratulations on your recent embarrassing idol victory. Now hand over that contract. No chance. We need it. But that's supposed to be my contract. I won it fair and square. And I helped him cheat. Forget it, clones. That contract is ours. Now take a hike. Let's get back to our time machine, Max. Yeah, I've seen more than enough of this place for one lifetime. Mm -hmm. Time machine? Oh, cool. Where to, little buddy? Just hit random buttons. Oh, that's no bueno. Well. So, that's bad, right? Yep. Yeah, that's bad. Boy, in the future we've got our own spaceship! And our own industrious and no doubt completely legally hired crew. Incoming delivery. Entrega entrante. You jerks! You made us go through the last year and a half all over again! Stand aside, decadent future versions of ourselves! Yeah, we've got a very important case to solve here. No, you don't. I want to ask, ask you something. something. Hey, pal, I'll ask the questions here. But, oh, all right, go ahead. What is he waiting for? Be patient, Max. It takes a while to think up the right thing to say. Doesn't Max know. and I have to get to the moon. How do we get there? You need to get a clue. In the heart of a champion, 20-pound can of beans. Time traveling phone booth? You need a time traveling phone booth. All right. Where do we get one of those? <gasps> Ask Agent Superball. Yeah. Ask Agent Superball in the future. What is this place? This is oh, not fun. our beautiful house. <laughs> How did we get here? Do I know you? Like a brother. Weren't you gonna ask me something? How to get to the moon, for instance. Oh, right. How do we get there? 
screwdriver. You need a screwdriver. All right. Where do we get one of those? We've got one. We've got one. We'll trade you for a recording contract. Hey, Sam. Don't we have a recording contract? Yeah, but we need it for... Um... Uh, huh. I can't remember. It must be important, or we wouldn't still be carrying it. You kept it so you could bring it to us, right? I guess so. Along with that carton of missile pops you promised. Don't push it, Max. All right. Here you go. Well done, Sam and Max. That was the last of your quests. You have scored 234 out of a possible 500 points. Weren't you going to trade us something? Uh, yeah. Uh, here's that screwdriver you guys wanted. Goodbye! We'll never forget all you've done here today. Have fun on the rest of your adventures. I'm even more confused than usual. We're gonna go see our future selves. Why? Because we can. Board. Looks like our trusty bulletin board is still in good shape. Local mariachi Pedro died this week due to complications from inhaling ink ribbon fumes. What a waste. Oh, wow. Hiya, future Max. Oh, hey, guys. Look, Sam, more visitors for your special day. Comically backwards past versions of ourselves. Nah, I want to keep these shoestrings. That's nice, Sam. Have you heard from Stinky lately? Of course, dim-witted Sam. She owns the mega corporation that owns everything in the future. How'd she manage that? She invented a spray that repels reanimated zombie hands. It turned out to be surprisingly lucrative. Hmm. Is it my birthday today? I can't use a coil of speaker wire with that. Yeah, some guy already came in here and started singing right before you two showed up. It was a nice surprise for Sam. I shot him five times. I almost hit him. <laughs> oh, damn. You must have been having a ton of exciting future adventures in space. No, oh, we don't take that many cases anymore. We try to stay mostly around this street and the neighboring shops. Still? Oh, the wow. future is a baffling potpourri of peculiar sights and odors. Yes, our advanced world must be frightening and confusing to you. I'll try to speak slowly, so that your 21st century brains can understand. Everything's so different. much in the office has changed. Oh, the wonders I could show the two of you, if I wasn't afraid of violating the time stream. Yeah, the time stream's asking for it. Well, okay. In the future, we can make phone calls to other people, even when we're not at home! My God! And our cars now have additional brake lights above the rear seats! No way... What about robots? Do we have robot slaves in the future? With lasers? Oh, you uncultivated savages. Robots are used for controlling our spaceships these days. Surely you've heard of the main Tron 28,000 line? Well, of course! Right, Sam? Everybody's heard of that. I can't shoot, Max! <laughs> if you're not taking cases, what do you guys do? I've become an expert in volcanology, and Sam is... <sighs> well, Sam is in his own world now. Great transmogrifying vapor wolves of Rational 17, <laughs> Booster rocket through the Van Allen belt. I'm in my office. What's wrong with the other me? Oh, he's fine. Mostly. The years add up, though. It's lint from my pocket. This should be useful later. Oh, boy. Be seeing ya. So long! That's how we say goodbye in the future. Uh-huh. Let's go back to 1963. I'm finally getting the hang of this time travel stuff. Let us change the course of time without fear or confusion. 
let's change the national date. Next thing, Independence Day. Anniversary patch. The official date has been changed. So it is written, so it shall be. Hey, Super Bowl, what day is it today? It's the 6th of September, sir. It's my birthday. I said, it's my birthday. Sorry I'm late, amigos. Did someone say, birthday? Wait up, guys! I'll be there in just a minute! No, you won't! <laughs> oh, no! Gracias for the song, senor. This has been the best birthday ever. Alright, Captain Mariachi. You would like to go solo? Courtesy of you. Here me. you go, Captain. Your ticket to musical stardom. My very own recording contract! Now I can ditch this dead weight and become the international superstar! A mariachi superstar! Yeah, well, good luck with that. Oh no, senor. Mariachi music is old news. I'm going to sing songs about trains. You have fun with that. Exit stage right, or there be stage left? Because I know it's in reverse when you're on stage. Whee! Okay, you want to know how you died? This is how you die. Good news, Senor. We found the gruesome details of your horrible demise. Oi! What a stupid way to die. Uh, I can think of stupider ways. And I could help. Kind of makes you want to quit your job, huh? Oh no, there are still so many big questions I want answered. But screw that stupid printer. Printer. What printer are we looking at? No, that's photo. Oh, there's nothing over here. It says suck. By the looks of this place, somebody's been pushing the hell out of it. <laughs> wow. Oh, that... That's what that is. Okay. It's some weird alien device that... Oops. Ay, not again. Just leave it. Seems like everything on this ship you're supposed to find these days. Hmm, it looks like some kind of futuristic low-tech printer. Nobody's gonna need this worthless ink ribbon. Hey, you can't just throw litter into the time vortex. Yeah, Sam. Somewhere a time-traveling Native American is crying. Where did it land? At the rate we're going, last month at the castle in Germany. Oh, so that's how that got there. A time card? We'd like to get a time card, please. Issuing time card for embarrassing idol. It's blank. Oh, never mind. So long. Get lost, failure. You're a failure. I'm not a failure. My mom says I'm not a failure. All 
Alright. Let's see where the blank type card goes. Just oh. look at it, Max. Eh, uh, what am I looking at exactly? Everything. Our entire universe, before the creation of matter and energy and quantum particles or something, it's at this spot that everything you know, or will ever know, will be Mr. Featherly. Oh, hey guys. Uh... Whee! Mr. Featherly? Why? Mr. Featherly? Sam and Max? Are you really the oldest living creature in existence? Or are you the last of a race of terrifying elder gods bent on restoring chaos to our upstart universe? Neither. I assure you I arrived here quite by accident. How'd you get here? I was filming the climactic volcanic eruption scene in Midtown Cowboys, the motion picture. Suddenly, I found myself abducted onto some type of alien spacecraft. After a frightfully amateurish song and dance number, I was deposited unceremoniously into the beginning of the universe. Really? Oh, that old story. Yeah, that old story. Wait, wait, wait. There's a Midtown Cowboys movie? Uh, yes. Well, I'm sure we were going to call you, but we decided to go in a different direction. I see. Oh, we have got to get a new agent, Sam. How do you like it here around the Singularity? I thought dinner theater in Ocala, Florida was dull. But that was nothing compared to, well, nothing. Mm, can't be all that bad. Being here at the start of it all can't be all bad. Well, I will give it one thing. The acoustics are outstanding! <laughs> Good for you. Why don't you come with us, Mr. Featherly? I'm sorry. I can't let you do that, Sam and Max. <laughs> that chicken is the source of all life in the universe. Removing him would cause a catastrophic temporal paradox. Catastrophic temporal paradox! <laughs> Mr. Featherly's not the only chicken around here. Hmm. Apparently I am. And there's the rub. Hmm. See you around, Mr. Featherly. Probably not, Sam, since he'll be long dead before we're even born. Oh, right then. Hang loose, Philo. But we can. You've been doing a good job, Mr. Featherly, but we decided to cast someone younger. Very well. As long as I can leave this accursed... Uh, wait! What are you doing? Put me down at once! Suck it up, Featherly. It only takes a day or two to get used to Sam's caustic B.O. Curse you, Max and Sam! Time stream altered. Jackass. That's the singularity from which the entire universe is going to spring in a mind-bendingly tremendous cataclysm. Neat. Hmm. Let's go back here. Now we know that the chicken came first. Put me down at once! All Not right. yet, Mr. Featherly. Alright, Hakuni Tatas, Mr. Featherly. Dear God, man! Do you ever wash that coat? ¿Qué onda con el pollo? He's from before time began. Yeah, turns out the chicken came first. Hmm, it makes no sense. If that's the chicken, what's there and now? Well, we left an egg. Like the story. I'll have to uh, see that egg. But, 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 I'm just kidding. Boy, you past people are so gullible. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, no! Don't put me back in there! 
Any more questions about the nature of our existence? No, the chicken was the big one. Vaya con Dios, Maxi Sam. Woohoo! Now the spaceship is ours to command. Ensign Sam, set course for ancient Rome. Our mission? To hug Caligula. Stop goofing off, Max. We've got to extend that bridge and return Bosco's soul. What? What's happening? I don't want to go! Whoops! Great. Now we'll have to figure out how to get all up in there. <laughs> Way to go, Max. You freaking idiot. Okay. Attempt to enter soul crushing area. Please acknowledge. We got rid of them all. Just make with the bridge already. All right, all right. Extending bridge. Hola, Sam y Max. You don't know us, but we are time traveling mariachis with a warning from the future. Whatever you do, do not extend that bridge. Bridge extended. Too uh -oh. late. Foreign body in time vortex. Self-destruct sequence engaged. Madre de Dios! Let's get out of here! We could cover some more first days. Okay, Pedro, you take the bog in the diner. Pedro, you take the statue-loving lady on Easter Island. I'll take the monster. Oh, yeah. Good luck, maxi -san. Gee, thanks. <sighs> the Mexican hat. It's a giant sombrero. I hate it here. The universe. <laughs> Total destruction imminent. Please evacuate immediately. So, Sam, is now a good time to start pulling my hair out and wetting myself in panic? Knock yourself out, pal. Better hurry, though. Okay. So we need to go back and use the suck button. Hmm. The soul vacuum's only strong enough to suck Bosco's corpse up halfway. They can make a time-traveling spaceship, but they can't invent an interdimensional portal that doesn't lose suction. Okay, I need... Sound controls... So I say, no, I'm not going to start an earthquake, and he's all... Bosco's corpse. Approaching beginning of the universe. Destruction imminent. Go, little buddy. It's now or never. Where do you think this portal goes? Anywhere that's not on a spaceship set to self-destruct and hurtling towards the beginning of the universe. All right, Sam. If this doesn't work, I'll see you in hell! Probably. Ten bucks says that's where we're going. All right, my sweets, and that is Chariots of the Dogs. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. That one was fun. Um, getting to meet Bosco's mom. <laughs> now I see where he gets it from. Um, this one was definitely an interesting one, but I enjoyed it. But I'll see you for the next episode, which is... What's new, Beelzebub? So I'm guessing when Max says, I'll see you in hell, that's, what, that's what's actually happening. But I will catch you next time, my loves. If you like what you saw, by all means, smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And I will catch you next time for more shenanigans and insanity. Take care of yourselves. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Thank you.